Good day, viewers, and welcome to another time of study under the feet of Jesus. We trust that the Lord will bring his word our way. The psalmist speaking, say, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. We trust that the word of the Lord that will come our way will shed light on our path, even as we trudge on on this earthly pilgrimage. We thank God for his mercies, and I must say, happy Palm Sunday. Today, we continue to build on our general theme for the year, God's children as pilgrims to the heavenly kingdom, manifestation of God's reign on earth. Our sub-theme, conditions for pilgrims to heavenly kingdom too. Recall that last week, we looked at new beds as one of the foundational or fundamental conditions required of pilgrims who are on the journey to heaven. Today, we will look at courage. And God has prepared his vessels that he will be using in the course of today's discussion to guide us through today's Bible study. By my right is Mrs. Lois Nandi Gia. She's a Bible Code Coordinator, Anglican Church of the Resurrection, Dubai, here in Abuja Desis. Ma. You're welcome to the program. Thank you. And then by my left, I must add a regular face on this platform. <laughs> this is Amaka Ogwejofo. This is in Bible Study Coordinator, and she is of the Basilica of Grace Church, Gudu, also here in Abuja Diocese. Ma, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Good day, viewers. You're welcome on this special Sunday. You know, for me, every time I have opportunity of relating with people from Basilica, I always recall the words of our Saint Jeff. He said, that's a church where grace dwells <laughs> in a Basilica way. <laughs> and it's no longer there now. Great grace. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, Ma. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Our topic, like I said, is courage. Please, I encourage you to get your family around. Invite people in your neighborhood. There's always something that God wants to say to a man. And I pray you receive and catch yours today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our aims will be to study the courage of Jesus on his way to the cross and to impart the same courage on all pilgrims to the kingdom of God. Our text, Matthew chapter 16, verses 20 to 25. Mami Jiyama, you help us with that text. Matthew okay. chapter 16, 20 to 25. Matthew 16, 20 through 25, it says, Then he commanded his disciples that they should tell no one that he was Jesus the Christ. From the time Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day, then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me, for you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desire to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me, 25 the last. For whoever desire to save his life will lose it, but whosoever loses his life for my sake will find it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Introduction. Courage simply means the mental or moral strength to persevere and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. It is also an ability to move on even when others are falling aside. In our test, we see Jesus Christ revealing his tragic end in Jerusalem to his disciples. What a dangerous path he foresaw, but yet was ready and bold to venture into the path. Peter's discouragement has no place in the heart of our courageous Savior to move on in his mission to redeem the world on the cross of Calvary. The discouragement of Brother Peter could not deter him. That's what secured our salvation. That's what secured our victory. We pray that the Lord will help us. 
even as we study together in the name of Jesus. Question one. Mommy Bridget from how can you define courage in the context of Jesus' attitude towards the cross? For emphasis, you read verse 20 of our text. Okay. Stretch it to 21, ma. All right. And then Mommy Gia, Mark chapter 8, verse 31, as well as chapter 9, 31 of the same Mark. Okay. And then Mommy Ogreja for Luke 9, 22. I'll read Mark 10, 33, and then we'll share in your submissions. All right. So Matthew chapter 16, from verse 20 to 21. Then he commanded his disciples that they should tell no one that he was Jesus the Christ. From that time, Jesus began to show to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and, scribes, and be killed and be raised the third day. Mark 8, 31 and chapter 9, verse 31 also. Mark 8, 31 says, And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed, and after three days rise again. 9.31 For he taught his disciples and said to them, The Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and after he will raise the third day. And then chapter 10, verse 33 of the same Mark. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priests and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him to the Gentiles. Luke 9, 22. Luke 9, 22, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day. Let me read verse 51 of Luke chapter 9. Let me just read it. It's, there's a scripture that bumps up to my spirit. It says, Now it came to pass, when the time had come for him to be received up, that he steadfastly set his face to mm. go to Jerusalem. That scripture came to my heart as well. <laughs> okay, he just came Confirmation. up. Right? <laughs> yeah. Confirmation. So, man, what's your understanding of courage? I think that for me, courage is the ability to stare danger and fear in the face also. with composure, mm. with composure. Yes, because the tendency for human beings is that in the face of danger, we panic. Yes. We cut and we run, mm. not even knowing whether we're running towards the danger or not. But mm. a man of courage is a man of composure. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, you know, looking at Jesus, it is not as if the things that were going to happen on the cross were going to take him by surprise. Yes, ma'am. He knew. Mm. He had looked into that cup and he had seen the contents. Mm. He saw suffering. Mm. He saw rejection. He saw pain. Mm. He saw betrayal. Mm. He saw torment. Awesome. He saw even the abandonment of heaven at a crucial point. He saw all these things. Mm. And yet, like the reading you took now, mm. he set his face like a flint to go in that direction. Awesome. And, you know, every time, for instance, I remember what happened in the book of Acts, where Peter was facing the execution the next day. I begin to ask myself a lot of questions. Mm. How can a man know that tomorrow his mm. head will be on the block? Mm. And he was sleeping so deeply mm. that the angel had to hit him physically <laughs> and say, Peter, get up, before he got up. It, uh, it is incredible. Mm. But awesome. this is the kind of God. You know, God doesn't tell us to have qualities that he himself does not have. Awesome, mm. yeah. You understand? Yeah. If God tells you have courage, it is because he himself mm. operates in courage. Mm. As, as he is, so are we, so are we in this world. So awesome. are we in this world. Hmm. Courage, awesome. Hmm. Momijia, courage. Yeah. Now I'm getting excited in my spirit already because this is a cardinal virtue for us as pilgrims to be able to navigate, especially in times like this. What's your take on it? Just like uh, Mommy has said, it is strength in the face of fear. Irrespective of the degree, hmm. you are aware, it's not taking you by surprise. And so you have geared up to take it on, irrespective of whatever the outcome might be. So it's taking grip of what you're already sure of, no matter what it will take. Awesome. God will help us. Amen. Let's make progress. Amen. Explain the phrase, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and okay. take up his cross and follow me. That's the part A of it. The part B says, what does the cross 
mean to you? I like to bring it perhaps to a personal level. To mm. you, what does this cross signify? Luke chapter 14, verse 27. May you take that reading. Okay, Luke 14, 27. It says, And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Now, that phrase I just recited, yeah. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow. Okay. What does that, your explanation of it, and then what does the cross mean to you? Denier is an obvious statement, and that means a deliberate step. Yes, ma'am. Letting go of all. And for a Christian and as a pilgrim, cross carrying is the basic if you must make it home. Mm. Cross is not the wooden structure or object in the church. Inside the altar, the one. Is, no, that is <laughs> not what we are talking one about one here. Our it is the emblem neck. of death. Yeah. It is what comes with shame. Because you know in Jesus' time, it is a cause to be nailed mm. to mm. the cross. Mm. So it is... A despicable a, death for reserved for criminals so in the for ancient room. For, mm -hmm. Then for a child of God, for you to go there, then you are sold out completely. Awesome. You have to be denying yourself. You have to put a reframe on yourself. And then it is also a sign of glory and victory. Mm, awesome. Because without it, there is no assurance for tomorrow. Awesome. And there is no getting to the destination for a pilgrim. Awesome. The old rugged cross. Yes. Mass. What does it mean you to know, you? For myself, every time I come to a situation, my heart and my mind goes to the cross because it was at the cross that everything was settled. Awesome. Everything about cross. man, time, eternity, sin, conditions, situations, awesome. whatever it might be. Mm. I remember one time I was passing through a challenge and God told me, look to the cross. Mm. Look at the man on the cross mm. because this is where the power lies. Mm. Yes, this is where redemption lies. Mm. This is where situations begin to turn around. Jesus. At that ultimate sacrifice, place of ultimate sacrifice, that's the place of ultimate deliverance. Mm. So the cross is, you know, carrying your cross like Jesus did is, is something to negotiate around. It's the place of victory. In fact, I love how that text started. He said, mm -hmm. if any man... If any man. Condition. So, if, <laughs> you can't circumvent this no, process. No. You can't negotiate yourself out At of all. it. To the extent that you want to be his disciple, if you want to follow him, you must deny yourself and okay. take up your cross. Ma, there's a dimension of prayer you will help us pray. You know, when you say it's the place of victory, yes. you recall the time that you faced a challenge and yes. say, look to the cross. Yes. Perhaps there's someone out there that needs to lay it down today at the cross, mm -hmm. that needs to lay it down at the foot of the cross. A place where victory is assured, a place where Jesus paid the price, a place of self-denial, a place that every committed disciple must be to. Maybe the Lord is asking of you, making demand of you to lay it down at the cross, and you're willing to come to the cross. Just join us briefly in a short word of prayer, and I pray that the Lord will strengthen you as you hear this call. Amen. Amen. And so, Baba, we come to you again. Yes, Amen. Lord. The cross, O oh God, is the symbol of our power and our victory. Amen. It is where you overcame on our behalf mm. and gave us to overcoming on a platter. Amen. For anyone, O oh God, King of Glory, is passing through whatever challenge now, I pray that you will take him to the cross. Amen. I pray that you will take her to the cross. Amen. Cause them to fix their eyes on the cross. And as they do, let victory come. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 It's an assurance, strong witness in my spirit that your victory is assured. Amen. You know, the cross may be a place of sorrow for you, but surely there is a joy that will come in the morning. Amen. Somebody was teaching some years ago, he said, beyond the pain, of Good Friday yes. lies the joy. The glory. Yes, yes, yes. There is a glory behind the cross. Child of God, we'll be back in a moment to continue. God bless you. This ability to me um, is a broad term that describes impairment, activity restriction, and participation restriction. Some of the things that may bring about disability, uh, we'll talk about poverty. Talk about sicknesses, 
ailment, the society itself. Disability Voice Program is brought up to educate, to inform the general public on the issues surrounding disabilities. Welcome back, child of God. God has been feeding us, mm. even unto satisfaction, via His Word. You know, interestingly, when I looked at the Gospel, the Bible said, they all eat and were mm, satisfied. satisfied. Talking about the 5,000 that Jesus fed. So when God feeds a man, He feeds a man unto satisfaction. He feeds well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will not feed your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and God has been doing exactly that on this month. We thank God that you're there receiving what God is bringing your way. And remember that I've been in the studio with our resource persons, Mrs. Amaka Ogunjafo and Mrs. Lois Gia. Welcome to the program once again. Thank you. Thank you. Now we look at question three, Mr. Ogunjafo. What are the crosses on the path of Christian pilgrims on earth? Perhaps time may not be enough for us to exhaust all the crosses, but some of them, as the Lord enables you. We'll read Matthew chapter 10, 16 to 18. You'll read that Ma, as well as verse 21 to 22. This is Gia, Acts 5, verse 40. And I'll read Acts chapter 2 of 1 to 4. And then we'll take your submissions. All right. Okay. Matthew chapter 10, 16 to 18. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be brought before governors and kings for my sake, as a testimony to them and to the Gentiles. 21. Now a brother will deliver a brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. Acts 5, verse 40. Yes. Acts 5.40 And they agreed with him. And when they had called for the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. Then Acts chapter 2 of 1 to 4. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread. So when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to false squad of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Mm. The crosses on our part as Christian. Your thoughts, man? Praise the Lord. I think uh, when we are talking about this issue of bearing the cross, I think it's a comprehensive thing. Yes, a man who was carrying the cross on his way to the place of crucifixion was a dead man. Yes, ma'am. It was a man who had been cut off, as it mm. were, from mm. society. People would just be wailing because they know it's not coming back. coming back. And so we see that the cross is actually a place of pain. Yes, ma'am. We see that the cross is a place of aloneness. Yes, ma'am. They don't crucify two men on the cross. Mm. It's just one. Mm. We discover that the cross is a place of death. We say it also a place of victory. Mm. And uh, in our contemporary days, honestly, people are passing through different challenges that you can describe as a, as a cross. Yes, ma'am. We saw in the passage that we read in Matthew 10, that we are sheep among wolves. What yeah. do you think is going to happen to a sheep <laughs> among, among wolves? wolves. It, it will is. be a very daunting situation. Yeah. If it comes out alive, it will be a miracle. Mm. And you find out that for some of us, because we are Christians, not because of any other thing, in our offices, we are like sheep among wolves. Mm. We are being hunted down, yes, literally hunted down, mm. not because of anything you have done, but because you bear the name of, of Christ. That is one of the crosses that you will find that mm. people are bearing in our contemporary society. People are being delivered up, lied against, mm. having their names being brought to shame and reproach. Mm. Because remember that the cross is also a place of shame. Yes, it's also a place of reproach. Yes, it's a place of nakedness and mm. abandonment. Mm. People are having their dignity stripped from that, not because they have done anything evil, but simply because they bear this cross. And... 
you know, we also find out, uh, there's a place I didn't read 22, and it said you'll be hated. Mm. The hatred of people. Yeah. Betrayal by even your nearest and dearest. Just you because... Father will... Father will... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sister, mm -hmm. betraying you, not because of anything else. Forgetting that filial, you know, link. Connection. Mm. Just because you're a Christian. Mm. If people tell you what they have gone through, carrying this cross, mm. you will know that the cross... It's not. It's not a light matter. It's not. A it's not a light. Bread. No, it's not a light matter. It's, it's not, not a light matter. Bread. It's not. Ma, some of the crosses. I mean, in contemporary days, like mm -hmm. you say, that we bear just because we are Christians. And I think it's also important that we remember that in the face of this cross, the place of courage mm -hmm. to enable a man carry on. The place of courage is very essential. Like where you read in Acts twelve. The reason why John's head was brought is to fulfill somebody's wish, mm. just to please others. Mm. And so we find ourselves as Christians in such situations, not because you have done wrong, but as mommy said, because you, you are, you are a, a, a child of God, because they know you will not tally along with them. So in order to ridicule you, not because they are going to gain from what they are doing to you, but just to please somebody. Mm. And so as a child of God, Knowing that it is part of what you are expecting, we need to hold on to Christ. Mm. Jesus did not turn mm. back that the cross was heavy. Mm. He was not carrying her back when the mother was crying. Mm. He was not too worried that the disciples would be left alone, all mm. alone because the target was the cross. Mm. Because after the cross, there is an assurance of a life hereafter. And that is all the purpose he had come to do. Awesome. So in spite of what you go through, child of God, there should be this tenacity in you, mm. which is courage that we are talking about, that this also will pass. If Jesus gained victory at the end of it, then my victory is assured. Awesome. I pray the Lord will help us. You know, as we are discussing this, I just recalled what happened even in our country in the recent past. You know, for some people who were returning officers, <laughs> we heard stories of how guns we are put they were under duress. Mm -hmm. Under duress, announced this result. Perhaps it was a cross at that time. Will you as a child of God go on standing for the truth at such moments? For Leah Sharibu, it was also a cross for her. At that time when they were, she was told, deny this Christ so that you will live. I don't know your cross. I know interestingly, the scripture did not leave us without examples. Plenty of examples. Instances, mm -hmm. A woman like Deborah. Yes. The three Hebrew boys. Yes. How about Esther? Mm -hmm. Who said in chapter 4, verse 16, if I, if perish, I, perish, I perish, I perish. These are contemporary, no, uh, uh, examples yeah, in the scriptures exactly. that the Lord ha will use and has used over the years to prepare our hearts. You know, the so, classic so, 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 for this, me, this matter is not even a matter of gender. Mm, it's not, I cannot excuse myself. I say that courage and bravery. It's for warriors. No, it's no, for no, men. no, no, no. <laughs> it's, not it's for men because we have examples exactly. in front of us. Look at look, look at, at the scripture that challenges me. Yes. In fact, David. Master, again. let me look at David, a young lad. Yes. He had no experience. In what? All he had was mm, yes, like, I need, yes, I need, like, I need, I need to read that scripture. You know, continually when the word of glory had kept coming, <laughs> the Bible said the whole army of Israel we are in fear. And all the men of Israel, verse 24. Okay. When they saw the man fled from him. And we are dreadfully <laughs> afraid. <laughs> Where were they? You know that scripture started by telling us the description of Goliath. Of Goliath, he was a man of war, massive man. Bible actually called him a champion, and yes. for a man to be called a champion, he may yeah. have gained some victory certainly, in the past. Certainly. Sure. Like you said, when we are started, certainly. Jesus looked at it. He saw pain. He saw he saw it. It. They mm. saw Goliath, mm. but a man of courage this came to the scene. A boy. A boy. A boy of courage. <laughs> oh, man. A, boy a boy of courage, of courage. courage yeah. came to the mm -hmm. scene. Saw that cross and thrown down. Look at Apostle Paul. Acts chapter 20. That scripture always encourages me. Say, except that the Holy Spirit bears witness mm. that trials and tribulation await me mm. in Jerusalem. This same Jerusalem that Jesus was going was to. 22. Verse 22. 22. Mm. Say, and see now. I go bound in spirit to Jerusalem, not knowing the things that will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies in every city, saying that chains and tribulation awaits me. But none of these things move me, 
nor do I count myself dead to myself, mm. so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Mm. None of these things. Courage. None. Mm. Courage. None. None of these things moved me. He was aware yes. that what I would, and it of was the, the prophecies. Holy, it was the Holy Spirit that, that even testified. The prophecy. It. Not one big prophecy. Holy mm. Spirit testifies strongly mm. that mm. what awaits you there mm. is this. Mm. But he carried on. In Numbers chapter 13, Caleb, Joshua, mm. yes. they had a different report. Yes. Those people came back and said, ah, we saw the Amalek dead. And we are like, we are we are like suppers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what interested me? Say, we saw ourselves as, as we, well. and I so we are we also. <laughs> <laughs> but Caleb and Joshua, in <laughs> courage, mm. had. They saw the giants too. Yeah, they, but they also had, saw the giants. But what was the secret? Why would they have a different perspective? They were men of courage. I think they were also men who knew God. Hmm. There, is, there is something about knowing God that puts courage in the heart of a man. Awesome. You know, you, you can never be more courageous than your knowledge of God. Mm. You can't. Mm. True. That's so the, the more a man gets to know the God, the more you know God and courageous knows the God. power that exactly. is inherent in God. Exactly. The one who has That's what brings the courage. Courage. Yes. Yes. No wonder Daniel and the three Hebrew guys were able to stand. stand. Mm. No wonder mere God. food was not just food to them, yes. mm. it was a stain on their personality when it comes to their relationship with God. And they say this and one will defy. They say this one will defy. It's ordinary to others. Jumping. This is the king's delicacy. And they were in danger, as they were saying it. Remember? Mm. Yes, they were. That refusing to eat that food put them in signal danger. Courage. Courage, Courage. brother. Do not stumble. <laughs> Do your part be as dark as night. See, there's a light to guide the humble. Trust in God and do the right. Yeah. Awesome. What is the courageous repose to all pilgrims to heavenly kingdom? As we conclude, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. Mommy Gia, you help us with that. Matthew chapter 10, 19 to 20. Mommy Ogwe, your four. And I'll read Luke chapter 10, 18 to 19. Deuteronomy 31, today. verse 6. It says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Awesome. Matthew 10. Matthew 10. 19 to 20. But when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak. Mm -hmm. For it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak. For it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your father who speaks in you. Awesome. Luke 10, verse 18 to 19. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt mm. you. Nevertheless, I'm stretching it to 20 now, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. What is the courageous repose to all pilgrims to the heavenly kingdom? What is it that comforts our hearts <laughs> in the face of these dangers, knowing that we are pilgrims to the heavenly kingdom? You see, the last part of where I read, he said he will not leave you nor forsake you. That is one. And the beginning said verses, he said, be strong and of good courage. Do not fear. Mm. Fear deters a man. No matter how strong you are, no matter how courageous you are, when you allow fear, fear comes in, in. you are but what is giving me joy is who he's speaking. Hmm. God Almighty, our example of courage, hmm. he is Jesus Christ Himself. And so he said, I will not leave you or no forsake you. So that is an assurance, and is enough for me to hold on to. Hmm. That in spite of all, there is hope. This God who never abandons He his never own. abandons. You know, for Jesus, you know, in John chapter 16, verse 32, Jesus looked at his disciple and said, A time will come mm. when all of you will leave me. Mm -hmm. But I won't be alone. Mm. He said, I won't be, be alone. alone. Why? The Father will be, will be with, with me. me. And that's what kept him going. Ma. I can only echo what she has said because honestly, in the storms of life, the battles that we have to fight, the crosses we must carry, what will give us the confidence, the assurance, the strength that we need to pass through that tunnel to the other side 
is the understanding that I'm not alone. Mm. God is with me. He will see me through. Mm -hmm. awesome. And like I tell, keep telling people that even if a Christian dies, it is still victory. victory. Because sometimes victory. we say he will deliver us mm. alive. Even mm. the Hebrew boy said, even if he chooses not to deliver us from these flames yeah. and we perish in the flames, Nebuchadnezzar, be sure of one thing, won't bother me. Mm. Mm. Because whether in life or in, in death, death, we are yeah, the Lord. Yes. So where is the defeat? None. We can afford to be courageous. Awesome. We can afford it. Awesome. Child of God, face that danger with courage. Mm -hmm. In fact, the scripture says that God has not given us the, the spirit, spirit of, of fear, fear, but of power, mm -hmm. love, yes, and sound mind. mind. And I'd like to say something. Mommy, you said a man is courageous to the extent that mm -hmm. he has got to know God. You know, the reason, the secret to this courage is knowing God. Imagine knowing that your father owns the whole estate. Mm -hmm. And you come into the estate and some boys are challenging you. You will be courageous because you know mm -hmm. this. Is my How much of this God do you know? Mm. You know, for David to say in Psalm 27 verse 1, he said, The Lord is my light and my, my salvation. salvation. Shall I, Whom shall I fear? He was not talking of the God that is for us. He <laughs> said, the God is my own, my own, mm. my light. My grandfather used say, to call mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. God. Uh, <laughs> the Lord is my light and, and my, my salvation. salvation. Shall I be? That was what gave him courage. Mm. Have you gotten to know this God on a personal level? That's the springboard for courage. In the midst of two months, in the midst of so many things we are facing, when you know that Jesus is in your boat, you are assured that that boat will never go down. Child of God, get to know this Jesus. There is joy in life. There is victory. You can live even on the joy side of life when you get to know this God that gives a man coming. Even fear. Mm. Uh, you know, <laughs> Hebrews chapter 2, 15, he says, Since the children have flesh and blood, mm. he too shared in their humanity yeah. so that via his death he might destroy him who has the power and free all those who, who all, all their, lives their life has been held in bondage by the, fear of death. by the fear of death. Even fear of death, God can give you courage when you get to know him. You know, incidentally, for some people, it's even fear itself, like you said, that yeah. even kills them yeah. more than the issue they're facing. I recall a story about how Mr. Death came to one village and told the people, the king first, prepare your people. I'm, I'm, here. I'm, <laughs> coming, I'm, I'm coming back. In, I've arrived. I've arrived. I'm coming back in five days' time. Mm -hmm. I'm only coming to take five persons. I don't know whom they are, but I'll take five people from your community. And the king gathered his subjects and told them, Mr. Dead visited, and this is what he said, in five days' time he's coming back. We don't know whether it's me or not. And everybody sorrowfully went back and they were. Then after, on the fifth day, leading into the sixth day, 100 persons died. <laughs> and then Mr. Dead came back. And the king oh, called him. Said, okay, I get it. And said, what, what happened? What happened? You promised five. me you would only take five, five from my community. How come you have you taken 100? Dead said, I keep five. I, I, keep, I, 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 said, I keep to my contract. I keep to my covenant. I actually came and took five. Mm -hmm. The other 95 died out they of get. fear. <laughs> wow. What killed the other 95 was you fear that they had that death. May God deliver us. God indeed will give us courage so that we don't die even before our time out of fear. Mm -hmm. Are you there living in fear of death? You are sure of tomorrow because he lives. I know. I can face tomorrow because he lives. Mm. I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone. All fear is gone because I know. It doesn't matter what men are saying. It doesn't matter that man in the office who is, cry who is working so hard to keep me stunted at a position that I will not get that promotion. It doesn't matter that delay, that voice of a man that has said you won't transcend beyond this level. Just because he lives, 
I am confident in courage mm. that I'll face tomorrow. Amen. And that's our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The heavenly path is rough, narrow, and full of dangers, intimidations, persecutions, and frustration. It's not. <laughs> it's not tea and butter. Mm -mm, mm -mm. In this world, Jesus mm -mm. speaking, he said, you will have tribulation. Yes. Mm -hmm. You will yes. have tribulation. He said, but be of good Good's cheer. Coming. I have yes. overcome. Mm -hmm. Weeping will endure the night. Joy shall will come in the morning. Mm -hmm. Food for thought. No courage. No crown mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. We take our memory verse together. Deuteronomy chapter 31, 31 and 6. Verse 6, <laughs> verse six he says, be, be strong, strong and, and of good, good courage. Do not, do not fear, fear, nor be afraid, afraid of them. them. For, For the Lord your God, God he is the one who goes with you. He will, will not, not leave you, you nor forsake you. forsake you. He will not leave you, mm. nor forsake you. The assurance of the presence of God mm. is what gives a man courage. Confidence. Mm. Are you a man of his presence? David knew what it meant to mm. cut the presence of the Lord. He said, one thing I have desired, mm. that will I seek, that I may go into his sanctuary, just beholding the beauty yes. of his presence. David knew it. Mm. That was, he was a man of God's presence. Little wonder when he lost it in Psalm 51. He wept. He, he, he wept. wept. He he wept. Say, Nathan came to him and after he said, mm. ah, no, no, he said, cast me not mm. away from mm. your presence. Mm. Child of God, be a man of God's presence and you will see courage springing up every day oh, of yes. your life. And nothing will defeat you. Mm -hmm. You become unlimited even in life. Amen. Amen. We thank God for today. Sometimes I'm excited in the spirit. I feel like preaching. <laughs> <laughs> but but the is Bible <laughs> The Lord will help us. Amen. We thank God for today what he's done on this mount. I'm mm -hmm. sure someone is living with that sure word of mm -hmm. God's presence going with him. We thank God that you are here, even to listen to what God has brought our way. We pray that the God of all courage will grant your heart courage Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mommy Gia, for coming. Thank you. It's such a joy having you around today. We pray that the Lord will continue to encourage you and that the work of God in your hand will continue to prosper Amen. in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for your labor of love, even Amen. in God's church, among our children, amongst our youths. The Lord will continue to keep you. Amen. Well, you're good, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's Thank always you. a Thank joy. You. Thank, Thank you, you very for much. those teachings, for the expositions. Mm -hmm. We pray that this God, who owes no man, will continually Amen. reward his own. Amen. Bible said he's a rewarder of them Amen. that diligently Amen. seek him. Child of God, if the Lord is also laying it in your heart to partner with us on this commission, to take the undiluted word of God to the utmost ends of the earth, even via the ACNM platform. Our social media and numbers that are scrolling right now, our social media handles and our numbers are presently scrolling on your screen. Please get across to us so that committedly we will make the word of God reach every man, even on the face of the earth. That's our desire. Until next week, when I'll see you again, even on this side, courage, brother. Do not stumble. Amen. God bless you.